Hi everyone, I wanted to show you if, um, this set of washi tapes that I got on AliExpress. Look at these. Wow. Now there is a lot in here. I can't remember how many is in here, but I think about a hundred. And the only thing is they are very, very thin. You couldn't use them to like put a book in it stick a book in or anything but you could use them across the corners to hold in pictures and things in your see how thin they are pictures and things in your journal and I just think that they are really they were so cheap as well look at these blue ones they're a bit thicker aren't they look at this one look at these ones yeah and they actually came in this little case as well but some of them are, I mean, they're ridiculously thin. Look at that one. Yeah, but I'm going to use them for decoration, so that's fine. They'll be fine. And then from Vinted, I found these. These are from two different sellers. So first there are these. The, this is fabric, but it's like a sticker. You can see there's different... It doesn't say who it's by, but all these fabrics are stickers. Aren't they pretty? Love that one. It doesn't actually say who, who they're by. It shows you on the back that you can make these, um, you could make an owl collage or a bird collage by cutting out these shapes and using them. And I got some in different colours. That's the same colour. But I think I bought three different sets. And the three different sets were three different colours. Look at that. She even sent me the extra pieces that she'd started using. Then I got this one. They are really lovely. And I thought, oh, they're gorgeous. I love fabric tape. I thought that's brilliant that you can cut it to as wide as you want. And I think that would be long enough to stick something into a journal page with, wouldn't it? So that's what I'm going to use that for. I could cut out shapes. I could use a little bit as a background for something, couldn't I? You could even make a journaling card out of it, couldn't you? Oh, uh, yeah, because the back is... Let me show you. The back is, you could write on the back, yeah. Yeah, you could write on the back, so that would be okay. Just as a journaling card, just because it's pretty. You could add extra things to it if you wanted to, couldn't you? And they come in, the themes are, you know, this is like a green one and I've got a pinky one and a blue one. Yeah, the, the themes are different colours. And then I got this package from a lady I buy from on Vinted and she sent me it in this paper and I thought that paper was really lovely. I'm going to save that to go into my journal. I'll show you the stickers that I got. The only trouble is, is the postage. Um, the postage is quite expensive on, for these anyway, on vintage which is why i don't really buy many of these from that that same lady the things she sends you are brilliant but it's just the cost of the postage and these were a pound for this packet you can see there's roses with green leaves they're all very similar they're all like red flowers this pack is just show you a few of those they're all very similar like red gold and green but yeah they'll really brighten up a journal page wouldn't they or a scrapbook page look at those carnations beautiful yeah and these are more of pink than that would actually go okay in my mushroom journal I might use that in there I need to, I'm sort of at the moment gathering materials for it. Then I got this paper. I just love the colours in this. Eastern Delight it's called. It, this was a pound. 
And like I say, the, the trouble is you have to pay the postage and the postage on Vinted, you can't sort of get a, a large letter size. It has to be a parcel, which is why I always order more than one thing from the lady. Um, I'll try and put the name of her shop. I am following her on Vinted, so I'll put the name of her shop in my description. And then you'll be able to go and have a look for yourself. She's always got... I think she must order stuff from China. And she must, you know, then sell it in the UK, which to me is a good idea. This is something that I got from AliExpress. It's a little tiny scalpel. And the idea is that you can cut things out with it, but it's not very sharp, I have to say. See, it's not, it's not cutting through that very easily, is it? See what I mean? It's not, it's just not, not as sharp as I had imagined it ought to be, let's say. But it does tuck away, it's like a pen. It's a shame because it's a brilliant idea. Maybe I was trying to cut too thick a thing with it. But let's have a flip through of this. This is, these are just papers. Really beautiful, bright colours though, aren't they? Love that. Love it. I think these would look good in that, this antiquarian journal that I'm going to do when I've used the stickers up out of there. And then finally I got this set of stickers from her. Let's have a look at these. got a little frame there like a ticket a little very thin bird and text on that one a butterfly I can use that in my mushroom one that's really pretty that would look good in my mushroom journal I think really nice with those yellow flowers isn't it a little label there more butterflies lots of different stickers here mushrooms they can go in my mushroom journal i need to sort through and choose all the bits i want to pop into my little thing for my mushroom journal but i am thoroughly enjoying enjoying my uh, journaling journey that one can go in as well. Look, it's got a mushroom on it there or a toadstool. A uh, little fern there, some little butterflies. She does have some lovely, lovely stickers. Look at these. There's some bigger like papers there. I would probably back that and use it as a journaling card. Little flowers. That one looks like a stamp mushrooms again i'm going to go through this and choose which ones i'm going to pop in my little mushroom journal packet that i've got another paper more florally stickers sunflowers look at the hair the rabbit is it a rabbit looks like a hair yeah european hair it says that's how i know love it they're a little, they look like house martins or swallows. So lovely. Butterflies again. Label. More florally ones. More stamp. I love the stamp ones. They're like a ticket one there. Quite a few of these papers in there. I think this was the more expensive compared to our other items anyway. Look at these. Look at those mushrooms. That's just a paper, it's not a sticker. And that's like a see-through. Look how lovely that is. I don't think that's a sticker either, but it is lovely. Yeah, quite a few of these that can be used for journaling papers. Love that one. A 
really lovely. I'll I'll put a link, not a link. If I can do a link, I'll do a link. I'm not sure whether you can link a vintage site, a vintage um, shop, but I'll try to. That's a stamp because she does have some lovely things. And this is one of the bigger packs, as I say. More mushrooms, just what I needed. Uh, it does come very quickly. It is um, for vintage. It is wrapped very nicely. Like I say, the only thing is the postage, but you know, we all, we have to pay it, don't we? Another stamp one. I do love the stamp ones. Butterflies, I think you can use in any journal and flowers, can't you? Unless it's a man's sports journal, of course, then you'd be stuck, wouldn't you? <laughs> More of the hairs. Butterflies, labels, florals, butterfly. There's quite a lot of butterflies in there and I'm pleased about that because I will use them. Look at that one. That's a lovely page, isn't it? Love that. And that one. And that one. And then those. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little look at my latest um, little haul that I got. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.